Once the clear coat had dried, I noticed that it had a little bit of an orange peel to it, and I didn't really like that, so I of course needed to do something about that. I could do one of two things. One is just to sand it down and add another couple coats of clear, or the other is to sand it down and start polishing it. I decided to give polishing a try as the last couple of builds I've already just sanded it down and applied more clear and figured polishing would be a nice challenge as well. So I just took out some 3000 grit sandpaper, started wet sanding all of the areas that were affected with the orange peel, then carefully started the polishing process. After sanding and cleaning the surface, you of course are left with that hazy look from all of the sanding scratches. Now this is perfectly normal after sanding as that is what sanding does. Now these of course need to be removed and in one of my older polishing videos one of you guys suggested to use this Sonex stuff. It really works a treat and goes on really nicely and doesn't really require any more steps after this. With the polish applied I carefully spread it around and then turned on the polishing machine in the lowest setting. Now this is just a rotary tool you can use a Dremel or whatever brand you prefer just make sure that it is on its lowest possible setting. Some machines have a higher minimum than others Mine is pretty low and that's why I'm using it. I will have links in the description down below to where you can buy your own or just find the one that I'm using. So the polish is now all done and ready for the next surface to be applied to. So I carefully remove the polish to reveal the nice and shiny paintwork. Not all of you will have access to one of these rotary tools or many of the tools I'm using, so of course you can do this by hand as well. It will just take a lot longer and maybe the effect won't be the same. I advise starting with a higher grit so that the polishing compound needs to do less work. In this case I'm just moving on to the next panel on the body, working step by step, panel by panel, until I'm all the way done. With all of the parts and pieces now back to their nice and shiny surface, I moved on to carefully masking off all of the window trim and bumper trim around the car in order to paint it matte black.
After all of this work, probably a lot of you would like to see some before and after pictures, so here you go.